Hello this is Delta 7554 with another Legion's Imperialist video. In this video we will be looking more closely at the Legiones Astartes, their data cards and some Legion special rules. If you re enjoying the videos please like and subscribe, so without taking any more time let's get into it, starting with data cards. At its core the Horus Heresy was brother fighting brother and the galaxy cleaved in two. These warring factions have mustered a desperate collection of forces including the human forces of the Solar Auxilla and the assets of the Nighthouses and the mighty Titan Legions. All of these factions have different disciplines and doctrines which this article covers as well as the data cards. Data cards. Data cards are familiar to the data cards from the original 40k epic game. We will go through the ones we have here including the different stats and weapon options, so let's get into it. Legion Terminator Detachment. Okay this is the data card for the Terminator unit we can see they're boxed in red of 5 stats for this unit we have. Movement, Save, CAF, Morale and Wounds. We also have weapon stats boxed in blue with Range, Dice, To Hit, AP and Traits. Now looking at this it's rather straightforward, the Terminators can move 5 inches they need to roll 4 or more to save, their close assault factor needs 4 or more to win. They need to roll 3 or more to pass morale tests and they have 1 wound. So looking back at my previous video if you used the march token you would move 15 inches instead of 5 inches but not be able to shoot. Now in my opinion this is going to make the game super easy to play, ok let's get into the next one. Legion Kratos Squadron. We covered the unit stats in the last slide so we will cover the weapon stats boxed in blue. Again the way the data card is laid out, makes it super easy to use. You have range, dice, to hit and traits. Range is obvious 20 inches and 10 inches respectively. Dice means you roll either 2 dice or 1 dice. To hit is how much you need to roll to hit. App is the armor piercing value, now does this work like in the age of darkness with the lower value being the better value, it waits to be seen. Traits, like age of darkness you have traits for your weapons which add better perks or does damage to specific units. Another thing I saw is that the squadron size for a Kratos is 2 tanks which can go up to a maximum of 6 tanks which equals 3 squadrons costing more points. Ok let's go into our next slide covering the Thunderhawk gunship. Thunderhawk gunship. We will now look at the special rules boxed in blue. Hover. This means the unit does not need to keep flying this was present in Aeonautica Imperialis. Meaning you could set your speed indicator to 0 and not stall. We have large assault transport, 8, which by reading the article it means you can transport 8 squads of troops. Also interesting is that the Thunderhawk has no morale so how would that work? Also are the rules for flying the same as a Rayonauctica in that if you go off the edge of the map that unit is gone. We might find out more in a later article. Ok let's now look at Legion special rules. In the Horus Heresy we have 18 different legions of space marines, from the noble ultramarines to the horrifyingly debauched emperor's children each legion had a different style of fighting. Where the white scars favor fast attacks, the death guard legion used grinding attritional attacks, where the iron warriors used siege attacks the ultramarines used a flexible method. These are what set your legions apart so let's have a look at the legion special rules the article is showing. These are the white scars, world eaters and salamanders legions. Legion Special Rules. The Space Marine Legions are known for their favored tactics and specialties, and all 18 have their own special rule. Importantly, each formation you select can be from a different Legion. After all, the biggest engagements saw multiple Legions fighting shoulder to shoulder, giving you extra tactical depth. Asterisk. The White Scars, for instance, are born in the saddle, increasing the jink save of any units with that special rule. This is a type of save that certain speedy models can use to dodge incoming fire, such as aircraft and jet bikes. Now what is a jink save? Does it stand in place of invulnerable saves or does it grant a bonus to saves? This may pop up in another article but until then I have no clue. Anyways let's get on to everyone's favorite angry boys the world eaters. The world eaters, believe it or not, have a rule called incarnate violence. It's quite simple, but brutally effective. They can reroll one of the d6s in every fight roll they make. No one's getting the better of these savages once chain blades are drawn. This plays into the world eaters tactics of charging into combat, which I think means you can reroll your calf, close assault factor, rolls. 
the fire-throwing dragon beating sons of Vulcan. The salamander's special rule is strength of wool, which gives them an extra chance at every morale check and grants them implacable for good measure. They aren't going anywhere unless you want them to. This seems to mean your favorite boys in green can dig in and give even the stubborn death guard a run for their money. My favorite takeaway from this is the way the data cards are laid out. The ease of finding the stats you want and the simple layout will make choice making during combat not only smooth but fast. The Legion special rules are a fresh take on the combat and play of the game, however as the article says this is but a snapshot of the power available, which probably means Legions have maybe more than one special rule. And whether they're fighting solo or alongside allies, Space Marines take to the field supported by squadrons of medium and heavy tanks, a barrage of artillery, stomping dreadnoughts, and sturdy flyers. So this is it for now and I will see you in another video, goodbye.